protein powder has become a go-to supplement for fitness. Enthusiasts and bodybuilders alike. However, not all foods play well with protein powder. In fact, some combinations can hinder your gains and even harm your health. Let's dive into the top 10 foods. You should avoid mixing with your protein shake. 1. Dairy Products Milk might seem like a natural choice to mix with protein powder. But it's actually one of the worst options. The calcium in dairy can interfere with protein absorption, forming complexes that are harder for your body to break down. This means less protein actually makes it to your muscles. But that's not all. Lactose, the sugar found in milk, can cause digestive issues for many people. Mixing protein powder with milk might leave you feeling bloated, gassy, and uncomfortable. This is especially true if you're lactose intolerant or sensitive to dairy. Instead of dairy, try mixing your protein powder with water or plant-based milk alternatives, like almond or coconut milk. These options won't interfere with protein absorption and are easier on your digestive system. 2. High-fat foods. You might think adding some peanut butter or avocado to your protein shake will make it more filling and nutritious. Think again. High-fat foods can significantly slow down protein absorption. Fat takes longer to digest than protein or carbs. When you consume fat with your protein powder, it slows down the entire digestive process. This means the amino acids from the protein take longer to reach your muscles. This is especially problematic if you're drinking your shake post-workout. Your muscles are most receptive to protein within 30 minutes to an hour after exercise. If fat is slowing down absorption, you might miss this crucial window for muscle recovery and growth. Stick to low-fat mixers for your protein shakes, especially around workout times. Save the fatty foods for other meals. 3. Caffeine-rich beverages. Coffee might give you a pre-workout boost, but it's not a good mixer for your protein powder. Caffeine is a diuretic, meaning it makes you urinate more frequently. This can lead to dehydration, which is bad news for protein synthesis and muscle recovery. Moreover, caffeine can interfere with protein absorption. It stimulates the production of stomach acid, which can break down protein before it has a chance to be absorbed in the small intestine. If you need your caffeine fix, have it separately from your protein shake. Wait at least an hour between your coffee and your protein to ensure optimal absorption. 4. Sugary foods. Adding fruits or honey to your protein shake might make it taste better, but it could be sabotaging your fitness goals. Sugar causes a rapid spike in insulin levels. While insulin is necessary for transporting nutrients to muscles, too much of it can actually inhibit protein synthesis. High sugar intake also leads to inflammation in the body. This can slow down muscle recovery and even contribute to muscle breakdown. The very thing you're trying to prevent by taking protein powder. Furthermore, sugary foods can lead to a crash in energy levels. This might leave you feeling tired and unmotivated for your workout. If you need to sweeten your shake, opt for low-calorie sweeteners. Or a small amount of stevia. Better yet, train your taste buds to enjoy the natural flavor of your protein powder. 5. Alcohol. This should be obvious, but it bears repeating. Never mix alcohol with your protein powder. Alcohol is a double whammy for muscle growth. First, it severely inhibits protein synthesis. Studies have shown that alcohol can decrease protein synthesis by up to 70% for up to 24 hours after consumption. Secondly, alcohol is a potent dehydrator. Proper hydration is crucial for muscle growth and recovery. When you're dehydrated, your muscles can't function optimally, and protein synthesis is impaired. Alcohol also interferes with sleep quality. Good sleep is essential for muscle recovery and growth. If you're serious about your gains, keep alcohol far away from your protein shakes and limit its consumption overall. 6. Fiber-rich foods. While fiber is an important part of a healthy diet, it's not a great addition to your protein shake. High-fiber foods can interfere with protein absorption by slowing down digestion. Insoluble fiber, in particular, can bind to proteins and prevent them from being fully absorbed in the small intestine. This means less protein available for muscle building and recovery. Fiber also increases feelings of fullness. While this is generally a good thing, 
It can be problematic if it prevents you from consuming enough protein throughout the day. If you want to add some nutrients to your shake, opt for low-fiber fruits like bananas or berries. Save your high-fiber veggies for other meals. 7. Carbonated Drinks Mixing your protein powder with soda or sparkling water might seem like a fun idea, but it's not doing your muscles any favors. Carbonated drinks can cause bloating and gas, which can be uncomfortable during workouts. More importantly, the phosphoric acid found in many carbonated drinks can interfere with calcium absorption. Calcium is crucial for muscle contraction and overall bone health. Carbonated drinks can also increase stomach acidity. This can lead to protein denaturation, making it harder for your body to use the protein effectively. Stick to still water or flat beverages when mixing your protein powder. Your digestive system and your muscles will thank you. 8. Salty Foods Adding a pinch of salt to your protein shake might seem harmless, but it can have negative effects on your muscle building goals. Excess sodium can lead to water retention, which might make you feel bloated and uncomfortable. More importantly, high sodium intake can increase calcium excretion. As we've mentioned, calcium is crucial for muscle function. If you're losing calcium, you're potentially compromising your muscle performance. High sodium intake can also lead to high blood pressure. This puts extra strain on your cardiovascular system, potentially reducing your workout performance and recovery. If you need to add flavor to your protein shake, try spices like cinnamon or nutmeg instead of salt. 9. Artificial Sweeteners You might think you're doing yourself a favor by choosing sugar-free options. But artificial sweeteners can be just as problematic. When mixed with protein powder, some artificial sweeteners can disrupt the balance of gut bacteria, which plays a crucial role in protein absorption and overall health. Moreover, certain artificial sweeteners can trigger an insulin response, even though they contain no calories. This can lead to blood sugar imbalances and potentially interfere with nutrient absorption. Some people also experience digestive issues, like bloating and gas when consuming artificial sweeteners. This can be particularly uncomfortable if you're about to hit the gym. If you need to sweeten your protein shake, opt for natural options like stevia or a small amount of real fruit. 10. Fruit juices. Fruit juices might seem like a healthy mixer for your protein powder but they're often not much better than soda. Most fruit juices are high in fructose, a type of sugar that can interfere with protein absorption. The high sugar content in fruit juices can also lead to rapid spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels. This can leave you feeling tired and sluggish, hardly ideal for a pre- or post-workout drink. Additionally, the acidity in fruit juices, especially citrus juices, can denature proteins. This makes them less effective for muscle building and recovery. If you want to add some fruit flavor to your protein shake, use whole fruits or small amounts of fruit puree instead of juice. This way, you'll get some fiber along with the natural sugars, which can help mitigate blood sugar spikes. Remember, the goal of taking protein powder is to support muscle growth and recovery. Mixing it with the wrong foods can negate these benefits and potentially harm your health. Stick to water, plant-based milks, or low-sugar, low-fat mixers for optimal results. It's also worth noting that timing matters. Try to avoid consuming these problematic foods for at least an hour before and after your protein shake. This will give your body the best chance to absorb and utilize the protein effectively. Ultimately, the key to success with protein powder is not just about what you mix it with but how it fits into your overall diet and exercise routine. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate rest are all crucial components of muscle growth and overall health. Remember, protein powder is a supplement, not a magic potion. It's meant to supplement a healthy diet, not replace whole foods. Always prioritize getting your nutrients from a variety of whole food sources. By avoiding these 10 foods when consuming your protein powder, you'll be well on your way to maximizing your gains and achieving your fitness goals. Stay consistent, stay informed, and most importantly, listen to your body. It often knows best what it needs to perform at its peak. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more fitness and nutrition tips.
Your journey to a healthier, stronger you starts now.